Can I take your order? Yeah, um, could I have a some dumb fuck? Could I have that with sauce on the side though? Yeah, we got sauce. Okay, good. Sauce, I like sauce. Um, how about a suck me duck? Yeah, yeah. Suck me duck? Suck me duck. Okay. Um, come to you soon. That comes with rice, right? Come to soon, come with rice. Okay, and the cream sauce. Cream sauce too. Okay, good. Now, how about a hung solo? Yeah, we got that. Okay, with ginger. I want stir fried with ginger. With ginger? Mm hmm. Good. Um, Five dollar extra. Okay, um, how much is that all together? Twenty-five dollar. Uh huh. Twenty-five dollar. Speak English. Twenty-five dollar. Oh, twenty-five dollars. Okay, well, hold on. I don't have twenty-five dollars. Bye, bitch. Welcome, Welcome to, to the view. Live at Love Gun. Live, live, live. You want a mic? Uh, I don't know. Do we throw a mic? Alright, so what are we talking about? We're talking about th this little brat, this little brat that's been bothering um, Lena Dunham, uh, calling her a whore. She has been emailing us all week long, uh, attacking us online, um, leaving messages, calling us a She's whore. She's a bully. She's a bully, yes. She's calling me. Uh, She's calling you an attention, an attention whore. whore. She's calling Ernie calling a, label, me a fashion a, whore. Yeah, a label whore. And who else? Like, and she even called RuPaul a coke whore. Well, all right. So one out of three. One out of three yeah. may be true. Right. One out. Of three. Yeah. Going yeah. To hell. Which one? Yeah. Which one? Which one, Ernie? Well, I have done cocaine with RuPaul in bathroom stalls. So. <laughs> so you're saying RuPaul is a coke whore? Uh, I'm just saying I've done cocaine with RuPaul in bathroom stalls. Oh, uh, well, well, who hasn't? <laughs> okay, well, is, I mean, I, is, does that constitute being a coke whore doing? I don't think so. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't a lot of cocaine. It was just a moderate amount. Just you know, an eight ball. I mean, I don't. I don't think she's really a, a coke whore. I think. Uh, I think that uh, she used to be, but I don't. I don't know if she is now. No, she looks pretty uh, clean and sober. Yeah, it's yeah. Photoshop with wonders. So we think that she, the actual attention whore, is this young nine-year-old girl because she's evilly figured out how to get all this attention. And I mean, at like nine or something, right? She's like figured that out. Imagine, but she's the monster. She's going to be at twenty. Nine years old. Right, she's probably going to run for president and win. Or hate her. Or be king of the club kids. Oh uh, yeah. What? what? <laughs> the neo club kids. Queen of the club kids. Which club kids? Um, the new club kids. Next generation. Oh, okay. Yes. In ten years. The nine-year-old? Yeah. No, she's nine now. She'll be 19 then. Okay. Queen age. But we're not waiting. Just yeah. ask you about it. So, yeah. I'm Love the nine-year-old. All right. So, we will be right back. Pardon. Pardon us for a moment. And now we'll work from our sponsor. Welcome back to The View, where we have an exciting game. This is the most exciting game you've ever heard of, you've ever seen. And, you know, since we were talking about RuPaul being or not being a coke whore, we thought we'd play a little game with RuPaul. Have a little fun at her expense. And we have something that is so shocking and amazing. And not this. This is not shocking. This is shocking. RuPaul is great here. But we have brought with us, ladies and gentlemen, Justin Bieber's penis. Oh my God! Yes! And we are going to. In case, in case it was blurry and all those pictures online right. that you tried to Google. It was a naked picture of him, right? Right. Well, we are going to play a game where we put Justin Bieber's penis. Pin the penis on, on RuPaul. RuPaul. Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's Justin Paul, and you will be pinning P Bieber's penis on RuPaul. 
That's right. Uh, we're going to make a little parlor game out of this. Yeah. So it's just like as with penis, uh, pin the penis, excuse me, pin the tail on the donkey. We're pinning a penis on RuPaul. We are offering, and we're going to offer prizes actually. The, the person who successfully gets a penis on RuPaul will win an Ali Galigula wristband of a retail value of ten dollars, I believe. And um, so we also have. Well, we're not putting it. Up, we're not doing it up there. We're, we're holding it down here for for the little people. Uh, so we also have blindfolds, and as you will see, these blindfolds are hermetically sealed, so nobody has to worry about getting pink eye or crabs. Fresh off of JetBlue, I'm opening it now before your eyes, so no need, no need to worry about hygiene. We, we at the Pew are very concerned. No need to worry about hygiene. No, no. We're very concerned about everybody's... We're very so unworried about hygiene. <laughs> so nobody will get crabs, unlike when Michael and I used to live together in the 90s and we had crabs. Oh, Ernie gave and me we crabs. we could not oh. get rid of crabs. Like, I gave them to Michael, Michael gave them to me, I gave them to my boyfriend at the time. Not because we, not because we were having sex, mind you. We weren't even having sex with each other. It was because we were taking baths in the same bathtub. We had a jacuzzi, and we thought it was, oh, let's turn on the jacuzzi. <laughs> Hilarity Cra ensued. Unfortunately, crabs also love jacuzzis. <laughs> yeah, it took, us, it took us like three months to get rid of them. Or if, if not longer. <laughs> and lots of laundry. Yeah. Yo, did you hear about the guys so I'm going to hand these to Rebecca. Do we have a contestant who wants to try to pin the penis? Oh, okay, we'll have Nick do it. Come on up, Nick. All right, Nicholas Sen is going to try to pin the penis on RuPaul. It's not that hard, just remember. Grab the dick, grab the dick. Grab the dick, but not too hard. Just be soft. I try to find. Oh, find, find the tuck, find the tuck, find the tuck, find the tuck. Where is it? Where is the penis? Bingo! And we have a winner. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. We have a winner. A winner of the Alligator wristband. All right, give that back to Rebecca. Anybody else want to try yeah. it? All right, Hennessy, come on up. Pin, pin the penis on the ball. Get your, get your eye, eye bands on. Your hermetically sealed, hygienic eye covers. All right, there is the penis. And Kate, you're kind of young, so you might not know what it's like. But uh, it's going to be long, and it'll have two little round things at one end. All right, in case you haven't actually touched one. I've never but, touched a penis before. Well, okay, find, find the crowd. Where is the tuck? Find the tuck in the cooch. Find the tuck. Uh oh, uh oh, get it close. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Oh, we're gonna give you, we're gonna give you a bracelet. We're gonna give you a bracelet. Thanks for playing. See you next time.